Hi everyone, my name is Wendy Little with Creation Depot and I'm going to be talking today about About Us Page Generators. Um, so of course, I have my own, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about what these things are for, what they do, because um, there's so many out there and they are good, but from a designer standpoint, a lot of them drive me nuts because they're not professionally laid out. They are basically a kind of Mad Lib style, which is like mine, but mine's a little different. Um, Matt, it lets you like put together like an essay really, really quick, like like a thousand words about who your company is and what's about. They're actually really good if you're trying to create almost like a mission statement. I find them very useful for that kind of thing. But when you are trying to put together an about page, from a designer standpoint, from a UX, like a user experience standpoint, you don't want an essay. Essays are bad. Like they don't help you. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of go over this and be like, hey guys, you know, about us text generators are great, but they need a little help. So when you're going through and doing it, um, I would suggest going ahead and using like one of the generators that you can find through Google. There's a million of them. Um, but I would suggest when you do it, realize that this is just kind of kind of this, this should not be a copy and paste kind of exercise. This isn't like a privacy statement or a terms of service that you're just trying to like just hurry up and get something on the web because you don't want to get in trouble. This is something that reflects your company. People actually do go to this page. It is something that will come up in search. So it's something that's important. And when you do the generators, I just want you to keep in mind that you are basically like doing a, a system of self discovery. You are figuring out what your important points are that you need to stress to your client, to your customer. And so that's kind of me getting off my, my soapbox now. I just wanted to explain like when you do these generators, you want to make sure that you're doing it in terms of like an exercise. Now, the, what makes mine different, and I will link to it in the last video in this series, what makes mine different is, is that it is Mad Lib style, as in you go in, you answer a bunch of questions, there's only like 10 questions, but you go in and you answer them, and then it spits out a thing at the end. But what it does, and this is so embarrassing, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show it like, woo, you see that? I promise there is a more professional one that is not done on my kids' construction paper. <laughs> <laughs> included with this thing. Um, but basically what it is, is it's, it outlines like the hero graphic, the, the first 50-50, it outlines the second 50-50, and it outlines like, it, it looks at it from a designer standpoint and what you should put in from a designer and a UX standpoint. Like what are the things that are important for somebody that comes and actually uses the page? Because that's at the end of the day what's important, right? And what you need to remember is that a Nevada's page is a funnel it is still a sales funnel. It doesn't matter, like any landing page should direct a user to do something. And a lot of landing pages, especially on like informational sites are just links to other, they're like portals. They're links to other places. They're not necessarily, they're just like the place that holds the links to all the other places. And about us page is kind of no different. So when you get to like your about us page, it really should be a landing page that links to your backstory that links to your um, events page, that links to your development or design or um, industrial process. Like, but it should have like little summaries, like, like tidbits of it. So when somebody comes to the page, they can get a brief overview of what your company does, how it does it, why it does it, and then is directed to do something. Like the very, if you watch the first video, the very end of the page is the most exciting part because it's the call to action. It sends you somewhere. You want to go do something there, right? So like, I'm not gonna link to all the text generators I found because a lot of them link to other things that I'm not, don't wanna be associated with. Um, but you can do a quick Google search and find a text generator if what you're looking for is a block of text but I would invite you to stay on this playlist and just get to the end and find something that, that suits your needs a little bit better. Because when you're looking at it from, a, if you want a professional about us page, you really need to look at it as it's a way to create a journey. Person comes to your page, they're impressed with like the initial video or the, the hero graphic that you've put there. They have in one sentence, they know exactly what your company's about. Then they scroll down a little bit further and they find out more about your approach, your design, your, your process. And then they go a little bit further and maybe they see your 
um, your backstory. And then if they go a little bit further, then they find out, oh, well, you know, this is where I can buy some tickets to be a part of this, or I can make a donation, or I can um, get a job here, or whatever your call to action needs to be at the bottom of the page, you know, um, and then after that, they can look at your, or maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's your socials that go there, you know, so um, like your social media, your YouTube, whatever it might be, is at the end. It just depends on what, how you want to guide them, what you want them to do. So I hope this has been helpful. And if you're looking just for the essay, seriously, like, you know, anything out there is going to be helpful for you. But when you're looking at them, realize that it's not, it's not going to be helpful to you from a visitor standpoint. It's basically, you're just doing it because you want to get this page done. <laughs> like, you know, it's not, you're not doing it in a, a user friendly way, because no one's going to read just a block of text unless it's a news site. So Again, stepping off my soapbox. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please like and subscribe and ring the bell. Um, all those things help me with the YouTube gods. I really appreciate it. It does help grow the channel. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. All right, see you guys later. Bye.